is a beautiful sunny day, you can see outside, uh, here in Bali, and I'm just packing my bags. I've got my big backpack and my small backpack, and I'm throwing everything out, as today I'm actually flying back to Sri Lanka. Okay, apparently my driver is here. Got all my bags packed, ready to go to the airport. Today I'm flying with Melindo Air, so I'm flying uh, Denpasar Bali to Kuala Lumpur and then Kuala Lumpur to Colombo. Now I do remember having a good experience with them the last time, but for some reason in my head I have some sort of weird feeling that something went wrong. Okay, so it's all checked in, got my boarding card, um, my bag is going to be checked through the whole way to Colombo, which is great. Okay, finally made it to Kuala Lumpur. It is pissing rain outside, it was crazy rain. Um, luckily there was a bridge that we could walk through. We didn't have to get on a bus and get soaked. Um, yeah, so got about five hour layover now in Kuala Lumpur. And then I gotta catch my next flight to Colombo. Okay, after a very long wait here in Kuala Lumpur Airport, about five hours and one too many coffees, finally boarding my next flight, which is my flight to Colombo, and I cannot wait to just get there, get to my hotel, and go to sleep. The good news is I have made it to Sri Lanka. Yay! The bad news is my bag has not made it. So they blessed my bag. I waited for ages until all the bags were out and then no bags were left. And then I had to go to the information desk and file a report or a complaint um, that my bag did not arrive. So that really sucks because all of my chargers are in there. My tripod, obviously all my clothes, my toiletries, everything. So really hope they find it and that I will get my bag tomorrow. Oh, what a day. So I've made it to my hotel in Colombo. I'm staying at the Move and Pick Colombo for the next two nights. I'm very excited about it. I've got a really nice room with an ocean view apparently. Um, it's already way past midnight so I'm pretty wrecked. I just want to go to bed. Um, but I'll give you guys a super quick room tour before I pass out. This is me. Whoa, it's big. Super big. Good morning, good morning. So I'm actually still pretty bit pretty tired. I only got about five or six hours sleep, but this bed here in the moment pick is unbelievably comfortable. I do not want to get out of it except for I really want to go down for breakfast. Um, but I just got up and I really want to show you guys the view from my room as it's pretty special. Here we go. So, literally this is all windows here, like floor to ceiling window. Whoa, look at that, oh my god. Ocean view, wow. There's a busy road down there. And then there's sort of like a beach and then a reclaimed area over there. It's another hotel, I think. And one of the best parts is the bathroom. So we'll start at the main entrance here. <gasps> Look, the view from the bathtub. Oh my god, so cool. Has lost my luggage and I'm still wearing the same clothes I was wearing yesterday. 
but it's my first full day here and I've decided I'm going to go and explore the city of Colombo by foot, just get to know the city a little bit better, uh, walk around, hopefully eat some street food and maybe go, so go shopping for some new clothes. Ready? Let's go! I hope you guys can hear me. I'm currently uh, just come off Gall Road and I think this is called Gall Face Green. Uh, apparently it really comes alive in the evening after sunset. There's a lot of sort of stalls that I can see now. Most of them look closed right now, all of these green ones behind me. Um, but I think in the evening they open up, I hope. And apparently you can get a lot of cool street food here. So I'm probably going to come back here later. But for now I'm just going to walk along. Um, it's really pretty, the waves are crashing, and it just seems like a nice part of Colombo. Where's that market? Yes. Oh, where's that tour? Okay. No, I just want to walk. Where's that tour? No, thank you. Right, bye bye. I've already been to all the temples. Oh. I've decided to come here to Peta Bazaar, which is a very big market area here in the centre of Colombo. It seems every street there's something different that it's specializing in. So this is sort of like the textile street. So every single store that I'm passing has these beautiful textiles. Um, kind of got like different types of silk and all different types of material. Let's see here. Every color of the rainbow. on their heads. There's all sorts of materials like for curtains, for sarongs, for dresses. Um, every colour, every type of material you can imagine. Uh, you've got like bag shops, uh, phone accessory shops, underwear shops. It's like a hive of activity here in Peta Market. Seriously, any material you're looking for, they could probably make the dress right here for you. But, uh, if you're liking flags, little souvenirs. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna try this place. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, I've come to a super local place for lunch. It's here in the Peta Bazaar. Um, some guy just saw me walking by and was like, come in, come in, come in. <laughs> so I have no idea what kind of food they have. Um, they don't have a menu, so I just said, give me whatever people normally eat here. So I guess I'm going to get some rice and different curries and we'll see. Right, so I think this is all, this is all mine. I don't know what it is. That looks really spicy. And rice. Okay, I don't have a tripod, so this is all I have to work with. Um, these are all different foods that I have. I don't actually know what most of these things are. This, this. And some fried chicken. Yum. 